What up, space babies? Got a minute? Who originated philosophy? The usual answer you'll get is that it was the Greeks. Thales was the first philosopher, and from that point on, other white men hopped on the philosophy bandwagon. After that, white men from Western Europe followed this legacy and perfected the art. I mean, that's pretty much how the white supremacist narrative goes. And I mean, maybe some will sprinkle in a little Buddha or even Confucius if they're feeling frisky, but I challenge you to think of one African philosopher. Go ahead, I'll wait. I'm kidding, we don't have time. It's a space baby minute, I'm sorry. But isn't that weird that you probably can't think of any? And isn't that a little shady even? Enough of this bullshit, said George James. He wrote a book called Stolen Legacy in 1954 that stated the Greeks had plagiarized Egyptian philosophy and had called it their own. It was common for people in Greece to travel to ancient Egypt to become an apprentice and part of the ancient mystery system. This system of learning was unparalleled in the ancient world, but the caveat was that you weren't allowed to write it down. Now I have a lot more learning to do on this subject. It's a huge claim that would challenge the way we look at philosophy. But many writers since George James have built off of his work and strengthened his claims. And philosophy originating in Europe was a big white supremacist argument for colonization and feelings of superiority. And so anybody looking to tear that down, I'm all for it. Peace, space baby out.